Hey everybody, welcome to Elisa's Art Room. Today we're going to be working some more on our nature journal. So y'all come in and say hi. Let me grab my journal. And hopefully everybody's having a lovely evening. We are live over here on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, it will be a replay. Let's see. There's the journal. So this is what we're working on currently. And um, I'm not sure what we're going to do tonight. I have a couple of ideas, so we'll pick one. But in the meantime, I'm going to get you guys pulled up on my other devices so I can see the chat. Hey, Dawn. that one. All right. Volume down. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I can keep this chat going. All right. So we are working on this journal. Um, tonight we're going to do either, I got three things I might do. I don't know. I don't even want to say because I always say it and I don't get to it. Um, but basically there's belly band, pocket tuck type things. Um, I have a file folder thing that I want to do, but I'm not sure I'm going to get to that tonight. So I have lots of things that I need to do still in this journal, and we're just kind of going to take it day by day and see how it goes. All right. Um, I've got a few people on here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the camera up top so that we can get started on this. Excuse the movement. Let me make sure we're straight. Very crooked. It's because my my tripod is angled and it always looks crooked on either the top or the bottom. I'll try to align it on the bottom. All right, that seems out of focus. has such a hard time focusing. I don't know why. All right, I think it's okay. It just seem, it seems a little off. Does it seem off to you guys? You would think it would be able to see it and focus. All right, it's okay. I'll probably end up zooming in a little bit anyway. Let me zoom in just a fraction. mark my area so hopefully I stay in camera but I've noticed on some of the replays I'm a little far back for you, most of y'all y'all are like me you can't see nothing <laughs> without my reading glasses on I can't see I think that's good all right we're gonna go with that and hopefully it'll stay in focus that's the problem as soon as I touch something it goes out of focus You'd think Facebook would figure out a way to lock the focus. That would be awesome. One of these days, maybe. My Kindle is frozen. <laughs> okay, Kindle. Why are you not cooperating? Hit it again. Nope, I don't want that. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, let's stay, Kindle. Okay, goodness, so much technical stuff. Hey, Dorothy. All right, so that's our cover. We've got our signatures. We have three. And I started me a little list of supplies that I'm using just so I don't forget. So I like to try to include that when I do journals. All right, so let's see. I think I'm going to do... I want to do this pocket style top loading belly band. Got some, first I've got some papers. I'm going to show you some of them. I don't have all of them printed from the sets, but I'm going to show you them because I'm going to be using them 
throughout the journal here and there. And I went ahead and grabbed a couple of digis because um, I just was not having enough supplies on my own. All right, so here's some of the digitals. So we've got some bugs. These are called Tiny Insects by J. Lilu Design. Um, I think that's the only thing on the name here. Let me double check it. Yeah. And these are all Etsy things. They're Etsy Digitals. Now, there's a lot more pages to his set or her. Honestly, don't know. To their set. Um, but I only printed out a few. And these are actually enlarged from what they come as. I just have to enlarge them for what I'm using them for today. So the sizes may not be exactly the same when you see the set at, at Etsy because I tend to enlarge or shrink or whatever I need to do. Oh, here's some more from that. Lots of little bugs, which I like. So this one, let's see, how many of these did I print out? I printed that one, that one. I got a poppy or something somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a sweet gum. So these are called, and I didn't print them all. Um, Digital Wildflowers and Herbs Botanical. Um, it is by Fable Crafts Art. Fable as in F-A-B-L-E. Now, if you need links to any of the Etsy shops or anything, just let me know and I can pull it up from my shop and figure it out. I don't do a lot of links on the Facebook except in the comments or in the description and nobody looks back at the description after the live. Um, it's not like YouTube. It doesn't quite work the same. So if you're watching on Facebook, you may not you know, see the links, but I do tend to put them on my YouTube one if I, if I upload it to YouTube. Um, later, I try to put them on there. Also, guys, remember, it's sometimes fun to rewatch on YouTube because it, if you're like me, you have your TV on YouTube and it's bigger. <laughs> I like watching it on the big screen. All right, so that's that one. It's really cute. It's got like the plant and then a little description of it. And it's, it's actually real writing on this one. It's not like AI fakey writing. They, you know, ad libis, whatever they call it. That's <laughs> the fakey writing. It was Ipsum. It's some something. <laughs> it's not that stuff. It's real writing. Um, then I have these dictionary pages. Now, I've printed these on different types of paper. Like this was on this. Um, this is an A4 sheet, I think, that I had bought off Amazon. It's a little different than a eight by eight and a half by eleven. As you can see, it's a little bit narrower and longer. Um, I printed one on that, and then I printed on some coffee dyed paper. And that's the, you get different looks depending on what you print it on. Um, these little dictionary ones are, where did my sheet go? Oh, there's. <laughs> these are called Vintage Dictionary by the Old Design Shop. And they're older dictionary pages. So we're going to use one of these today, or possibly this one. This one is, and I only printed, now these have a lot more pages than I'm showing you guys. I just, I only printed some of them because I don't, I don't waste ink printing all of them. I just don't have the ink. This one is, did I write it down? Vintage 1888 Garden Forest News. It's by Allure Books Crafts. Allure Books Craft. One word. All right. So that's where all those are from. This is cool. They had a lot of different pages. And this. Actually, this was had. This is the one that had the flowers with it. So this one, I, I took half of the page and printed it on this, and I took the other half, which are these flowers, and printed it on this. Um, cardstock because I want to watercolor these um, but these come something like this basically there's a flower and then then this and then there's 
a flower and then this. And I just printed it with the two sides on one just because I, that's all I needed for this. I just wanted the, the writing. So remember, when you get digitals, you can print them any you know, way you need to. You know, chop off parts you don't need, only print out what you need, stuff like that. That's what I tend to do because it's just otherwise I'll, I'll waste a bunch of paper and ink printing stuff I don't need. Okay, so that's enough of that. Remember, if you have questions, just let me know. I might get to one of these watercolor ones. And these are actually real descriptions, too, on these these plants. And I actually went a step further and just looked online to see colors and stuff. This is rose hips, which is, it says Rosa Nectuna or something, which is the the botanical name. I think that's what you call it. Is that what you call it? Botanical? Something like that. Um, and... I just said pink flowers, yellow center, green leaves, and the fruit is red. So that I knew when I went to watercolor them what colors are actually supposed to be there. Not that I have to do that, but I wanted to. So it is going to have the correct colors. Okay, so for our first idea, we're going to do some belly bands with a little tag that loads from the top. This idea... Where did I see this idea? I try to remember and write these things down for you guys. That's a different one. I saw this one on Tracy Fox Creative. Now granted, there's probably a hundred different versions of this out there, but that's the one I happened to be watching this week when I saw it. So that's who I will say. A lot of times I give you guys who I saw, okay? But that doesn't mean that's the only person that's done it. It's probably been done a hundred times. And I'm only giving you who I saw because that's who inspired me at that moment. Okay. But they may have been inspired by somebody else. I really don't know. So just always keep that in mind. Because sometimes people will come back and say, well, that's not who originally did that. And it's like, yeah, but you know, how do I know who originally did it? You know, am I going to search through a billion, you know, videos and try to figure it out and look at timestamps? No. So. And actually, most of the crafters that I follow and know don't care. They're like, just, you know, if you see me do it, tag me or say something. But they, they're they not so protective of their stuff you know, like it can be with art. I know, especially like me, I get a little protective of my copyrighted art. But when we're sharing these ideas, I don't think we get quite as protective about that. So most of us are just helping everybody and inspiring everybody and you know we're just going with the flow so trying to keep it you know nice <laughs> this is a it's just a, a little scrap I had and what I did I just grabbed the scrap it was one of my little pieces I'd cut off the end of a paper to cut it down to size I've got little notches here and then I just sewed it before I glued it down um, I just sewed around it and then I sewed where I wanted the pockets to be. And then I've got these little tags from that. Is it from the bug one? I think it's from the bug one. Yeah, the tiny insects one. And I'm going to decorate these a little bit more, maybe with a, a back paper or something, but they're just going to go in here basically like this. And that was just as simple as just gluing that down to this page. So I will probably do that one off camera because there's really not much to it it's pretty simple i'm trying to find a spot for a good belly band for this i'm going to use either this or one of these so i have i think i might have a bird image i can use maybe if i have a good bird image that's narrow i might use this one if not i think i will use one of these others maybe this one i thought i reprinted this one no, I did the bird twice. I didn't do that one twice. The spacing on this was a little wider in the original, and I, I squished them together because I needed it to be closer for what I'm doing. Um, so I just basically printed one side and the other side and just kind of squished them. Sometimes I do that because I can't fit it on the page or whatever. All right, I think... I like them both for this idea. So basically, the, the nutshell of this idea is that you take 
something like a book page or something like this and you just fold it over and you make a pocket okay so there's going to be a design only on the front area there and i don't want to waste too much I'm leaning toward the dictionary page i can cut off some of this to use elsewhere all of it can be cut off i mean really it's not that big of a deal I'm not sure which paper i like better they're about the same weight the coffee dyed tends to get a little thicker feeling and this is a little thicker feeling than my normal copy paper so i think i'm going to do that and then i had printed these out so these are a little bit smaller and i just enlarged it and i'm hoping that i can pick one or two of these for the the um tuck the tag thing so that's what we're going to do there this might be decoration i don't know yet so i think i'm debating on which paper i want to use depend on the sheet i put it on so this i didn't do the b one with that paper did i no i didn't okay it's got more yellow tones to it. I'm not sure. I don't particularly like it there. I'm trying to find pages that are stable enough to hold a pocket. Most of my pages are decently stable. They're not super thin. Where's the plant one? Might do a plant one there. Let me see what else I got. It's a nice blank spot. The um, the grid paper. There's one, two things I saw on the grid paper. One, the size is a little bit different. I think it's probably like a. Um, I don't. It's not a nine. I don't feel like it's eight and a half. I feel like it's small. I don't have it in front of me to tell you. But it's it's smaller, and when I ink on the grid paper, it goes through almost every time. When I ink on the coffee paper, it doesn't usually go through. But I noticed it did definitely go through on my grid paper when we did that one I did the other day. So I'm going to have to cover that with something. But there's a nice, strong one. What's in there? My specimen cards. I don't know if I want a, a tag right next to that. It might get too bulky right there. It is strong though. This stuff is a little flimsy. I probably am not going to do a whole lot to that. That's got a top tuck. And I've got these back pages. All right. I don't know. Probably just a coffee dyed paper is what I'm guessing. Might put one on this side. Maybe I'll do a plant one on this one since I've got the plants. So I took some of my actual plants. Um, this is the purple um, smoke bush from my yard. And I had put it through the... Um, Sizzix Big Shot and so it was pretty dry and then I let it dry for a couple days in a book and now it's really dry and I glued it down to this homemade paper so that's what that is I did it in each one this one's got some ferns and the other one has um, something I don't remember what's the other one got if I can find it the other one has, oh, I see the back of it. Oh, it's got a flower. Okay, and these are glued with a, um, a flexible glue so that if it bends, it's not going to pop off. And I might varnish over them, but right now they're not sticking or anything. They seem fine. If your glues ever seem sticky, you can either varnish them with a matte varnish over the top, and that'll take away the sticky, or just put some embossing powder or something over the top of it. And I don't mean the type of embossing powder that you heat. I mean the type that you keep your stuff from sticking, like this type. 
okay? So that's what I did there, just so y'all know. All right, I need to do, I'll, I, ideally I wanna do one in each, but I'll just pick one for today. And then I'll probably add the other two. That way we can get to more projects. All right, I'm leaning toward doing one here with the plants because it's got this plant and I think it'll look good there. So we'll do this one there. And then the birds, let me find a place for the birds if I'm going to do the birds. Although this book would have been better for birds, I guess. Not that it really matters what the cover has. All right, let's see if we can find a good spot for the bird one. I'm kind of liking this yellow. Maybe that side. The tones like that a lot, I think. I know it's really like more like bee-like, but it doesn't matter really. Maybe we'll put a bee one in there and not a bird one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll mix our bees and our birds. <laughs> I have this one, but I didn't. I didn't pull it together tighter. I don't guess. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't print it or something. Cause I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I don't see it, so I'm guessing I did not do that. But it's not a big deal. I could just fold it with this side and do it that way, which I might do. I don't know. But I may just use this for an embellishment too. So. All right, so for this one, we're going to cut it to size first. So let's see, we got two pages here. We're gonna go there and there. I think that'll be okay. Let's put this up. I know I'm a little bit all over the place. Whew, I'm hot. All right, so first thing we need to do is get our pocket made. So you just wanna get your size of your paper. I'm gonna pull this. I don't know if I'm gonna pull the whole thing out or not. It's probably not necessary. Maybe I'll just clip it so it doesn't keep coming apart. And annoying me. Where's my clips? There they are. I got these clips. Try to keep it somewhat together. There. Is that in the right fold spot? Yep. This is going to help me know if it's straight or not. Because you know me, I will certainly get it on there crooked. All right, that feels decent. All right, let's put that there. What did I say? The bird one on that one. So let's see. Where can I get this one? Um, I could probably save. I could at least save that little one there. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. We're going to do it. I'm not going to go exactly to the top because I want room for my my um, tag to sit in there. So we'll start with that little cardinal spot. Think about there. I'm just going to cut some off the bottom and the top for this one. So I'm trying to think how this looks. It's got a tuck at the front. It's got a little notch. So it'll be flat. Okay. Um, I'll just go right. I'm trying to think I, I want room for my little notch so I don't chop into his head. So I'm gonna go right up against that, I think. And then down here, so let me move that down just a little bit. I'll go right about here. Are y'all still in camera enough? I think you are something. I'm zoomed in, I don't wanna forget. <laughs> As you know, I'm gonna forget, it's, it's a given. So we're just gonna cut that off there first. We'll just set this one aside, although I could cut them at the same time, I bet you. Let me just get both the cuttings done because that way I don't have to keep going back and forth. So for this one, it's pretty much the same. We'll do the, I'm debating on which plant I want on the top if it matters. I kind of like the mint. I'll do the mint on the top. So this one, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to leave the bottom exact, I think, and just cut to the bottom of this right there. 
don't think that'll fit. I might have to take just a fraction off the bottom just to allow for gluing. All right, let me get my cutter. So crooked. <laughs> so crooked. I'm just going to take that print off so it's not quite as obvious. If I can do it, we'll see if my, my cutter will cooperate. There. All right. I might eat into the words, but that's okay. I'm not as worried about that as the bird. I definitely don't want to eat into the little birdie's head. I'm going to try not to do that. I think this is straight. Who knows? Let me see if it looks straight before I cut it. Uh, it's not terrible. Right. To have some on the bottom. Yeah. Let me just double check. Yeah. It's not going to be a full length belly band because I just want a little bit of room for the. Um, for the tag, so we're not sticking completely out of the book. I'll take off about a quarter of an inch on this one. Does it look straight? No. I probably didn't print it straight. Although my coffee dyed papers do not seem to like my printer very much. They sometimes jam and they get in there crooked. All right, so now you can just decide wherever you want this fold to go, but basically you just want to make a pocket that's going to be wide enough for your um, tag. So ideally have your tag size in mind first because that will make life easier. Let me grab my pieces. Let's see, which one do we want to do on this one? Okay. Mm. Some of these are creepy looking. This one's just got a whole bunch of legs. I wonder if it's AI. <laughs> I don't, that seems like too many legs. One, two, two, four, six, eight, ten. I don't know of anything that's got ten. Do, do books have ten? I don't think they do. <laughs> I feel like that one's a little wrong. Alright. Most of them seem fairly realistic. I think I will, I might do this little bee. It's not going to show much. I can decorate this some more. Possibly a stamp or something. I could do this really large bee. Any preference, Don? I know you probably don't care. She usually doesn't care. This is her commission in case you happen to be new to watching. All right, let me pull this over here. I'm just going to cut one just to check the size. I'm leaning toward this little bee. I thought about backing it. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. So for right now, I'm just going to kind of cut right on the edge and then I'll, I'll decide if I want to back it onto something. This is cardstock, so it's, I think it's thick enough. think I need to back it. Now I just want to double check the size and make sure the size is okay. I'll do one in that. I want that dragonfly. Where's the dragonfly? The other ones are a little bit longer, I think. I feel like I made them slightly longer. Ideally, I don't want to back it, I guess, because if I back it and it's not even, 
um, it'll stop it from going in smoothly. Where'd that bee go? I lost the bee. Oh, there he is. Where'd you go, little bee? All right, we're going to go with those two, and then if Dawn jumps on and says she doesn't like them, I will chain them later. She pretty much gave me free reign, so <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I probably don't need all of this material, but I might leave it. It's just going to give it a little more strength. I'm going to decide how much of this I want to show. I think I want this side to show the most. So this is a plant. I don't guess it matters if it's a plant. I hit. I was going to look for a bird. I'll think about it if I want to use the bee or something else. They're going to be about the same size, so it's not going to matter. So you want to make sure you leave a little room because you're going to be gluing one of these sides for sure. Although it may not affect the front. I'm just thinking. If I leave about an eighth of an inch, that should be plenty. So I might fold it right there. And then this side I will fold about there. So I've got all that extra I'll use for something else probably. Some of it anyway. I'm going to probably cut off some of that if I can get a hold of one of these. Just make sure they feel like they're going to go in well. I'm going to check them both just in case. I think they're the same. How's my height? My height's a little long, but if I have glue, there's going to be a little notch and then a little something, maybe a tag, tab or a piece of material. If I glue to where it stops, so just maybe add my glue. I can keep it that length. I could stop it with glue. Right, so let's go ahead and take off the back. I don't need all of this. I just need enough to overlap this. Okay. So we will take it off. I'm going to just take it off right at this spot there. And then I might have some pieces to use for something else. When I saw this done, this probably isn't exactly the way she did it because I am kind of making some things up as I go. But there's so many versions, like I said. It's the basic idea is what you need. And if you if it bothers you that it's not flush, you can take one side flush and then do it that way. I, I didn't care because I'm gonna glue it down anyway to the page mostly and I don't as long as I have this glued I don't think anything that's going in will cause a problem if I'm real worried about it what I'll do is because mostly I tuck from the the right I will make sure that that part is on this side that way it's if it was this way then this piece here might snag like that see what I'm saying but if I put it this way then I don't have to worry about that as much so little things that you can kind of keep in mind when you're making things like this. You'll keep that for something. I could even make another one with it. Um, this one, maybe I'll just use the birds and the dragonflies. I want to see if I have an, I got a, I've got so many bird things. I'm bound to have one. Let me see what else I can use for this dragonfly. Maybe I will use the B one and just use, oh, there's a butterfly. That's pretty. I think we'll do this one instead because I like that with that better. I think it's not going to match the page quite the same though. Let me double check if it matches. Okay. Should I pick another page? Put the bird one there. It makes more sense to have a bee or a butterfly with that. What was the bird one? Did I even have a page in the bird one picked out? Probably not. No, I did. Where'd it go? I lost it. There it is. Okay. All right, so that's the plant one. I'm going, I'm getting so many pieces, guys. Um, so this is the plant one. 
for sure. I don't have any long plant tags, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I guess this is okay there. I do like that a little better, but maybe I could ink it. I'm debating if I want to find another spot. <laughs> Not crazy about the color on that page. Got more bees here. Let's put it here. Yeah, that might be better. Let's put it there. Keep the insects together. I'm going to find a place to put this bird. Maybe in this one somewhere. And then i got to find a bird picture for that. I'll figure out something. I have plenty of bird pictures of my own that I could probably shrink to size. But that would require just a little more work. So we're going to just leave this top, I think, where it is. And just cut off the bottom. To, well, just where the acorn ends. We're going to do this instead. where it folds over at first. I want the butterfly showing. So I'm going to do that there. And now I could measure, but I'm not, you know, I'm just not going <laughs> to. It's just as easy to me to just hold it up and see where it hits. I'm going to bring that in just a fraction more so it's not on that edge. There. Yeah. And then just check this. I think about that looks good. Yep. That looks pretty good. There. I like that spot. That's good. And then we'll trim this. go a little bit closer. I think I can overlap enough. I'm trying not to waste too much that I can use elsewhere because a lot of times I can still use some of these somewhere else. So we'll keep that. All right, let's glue the backs. So let me think about which way this goes. It goes this way, so we want this underneath. Okay, so I want to add my, I'm going to add my notch before I cut, before I glue this, because you know I'm going to forget. I have notes everywhere telling me not to forget to do this, but I still forget. All right, so add a little notch. Oh, I don't know if I can cut this. Question, question, question. Let me grab some cardstock or something. I'm looking for a scrap piece, preferably just plain. Let's see. Mm. I need to. Oh, there's my scraps. Sorry, I know I'm off camera. I'm just grabbing a scrap piece of cardstock. It's like resume paper. We don't want that. Uh, I'm worried it's not going to cut through, so. There's something. That'll work. Okay. Anytime I'm worried that the paper is too thin and it's not going to punch through, properly and it's just going to end up ripping the paper. I try to put something under it and get in the center of that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Got a little notch. And then where's the other one? We'll get our other notch. I 
I don't want that fold on there. So I want it to be solid on the back. Oops, wrong way. Mm. It's hard to see my lines. Okay, let's ink that. Where's my ink at? There it is. Walnut, vintage or walnut. I'll go with vintage. ink the notch at least. The other doesn't matter. I can ink that after, but I can't ink that notch after. <laughs> at least not easily. If you forget, you can throw a piece of paper under it or something and still do it, but it's it's a little trickier. Right, so there's those two. I don't think I need to worry about inking anything else. Put my lid on. Right, this is going to go here. Where'd my other clip go? Oh, I'm like, why is it still sliding? It's because I had my hand on the tag. All right, so this goes this way. So I want this flap on the outside. Try to do the flap on the outside. Glue. Oops. <coughs> I just grabbed something. Hold on. It's flying all over the place. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, it must have. I bet that can's got sticky on it. It does. My can has sticky on it and it's stuck to my glue. I need to do something with that. All right, so you only need glue on the outer edge here and then this edge here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of glue here. on the side that's on the inside. Um, try not to get so close that it'll seep inside. And then we're going to glue the bottoms. Now, I think I said I didn't want to go. I'm going to go fairly heavy on this glue. Let me see how far this goes down. Hold on. I meant to mark it. Okay. I'm going to go up a, about a half an inch. No, maybe not quite a half an inch. Because I want to glue that whole piece down. So that's the inside, and we'll put more right here. Oops, I probably went too far over. Okay, we'll stick that down. And then that'll stop it from going all the way to the bottom. Okay, I got too much glue on my finger. That should work so that it doesn't go. Yeah, it stops about right there, which is where I want it to stop. Okay, so same thing on this one. We want to do the left side. So this side on the top. Top. this is the same length I think it is yeah now, I don't have to go this high on it but I would rather just make it stop and then I don't have to worry about it I hate it when the tag gets too far down in there and then it just doesn't work right putting glue on the spot that I don't need. It's going to be glued down, so I don't care, but don't put glue there. All right, so then we got our two little pockets. Now, these really don't need a lot done to them, but we'll do something to them because they're, they could be fancied up a bit more. So I think I'm going to do the, the butterfly here. 
Now you could decorate it before you put it in or after. I don't know that it really matters. But I do want to make sure that everything fits right. So I'm going to come down just a little bit. I'm just checking size. Okay, that should be fine. So that's going to go there. I might do, maybe I should do something to this background first. Let's do something. Maybe just some letters or something, stamps. I need to ink these and debate if I want to make them tag like. I just want to round the corner. I think I just want to round the corner. I'm still, I'm thinking I'm still going to put like a, a tab or something. I don't have like one of those, um, whale tail. I don't have a whale tail. Although sometimes I do a, a fake one just made up. I'm looking for my rounder. Oh, there it is. Now I'm not doing a lot to the backs. I probably should do something to the backs. What could I do to the backs? They could just, I mean, they're just journaling space, but I don't know if I want to leave them white. I should do something to the back. Let me think about it. Rounding your corners is optional. I just prefer the look of it. white and then I'll have to think about the backs we gotta do something I could just distress it but I've also got some of those stamps with like distress spots and stuff maybe I'll just do that so I don't want to do a lot because I want it to be left for, for journaling space Let's do that. So we'll just do the backs with some stamps and stuff. Let me get this out of my way. Can I mark this spot? Is that the spot? I don't even know. Oh, it was here. I need to mark that spot before I lose it. There's my other clippy thing. There. Stick this aside. And we're going to stamp. So I'm going to grab my board. Alright, I think I will do some writing, maybe just a little light, maybe. I don't know if I will write. Maybe just desk dressing. Let me find my stamps. Uh, oh, this is dies. It's not stamps. <laughs> my die holder and my stamp holder look the same. Here we go. This one I like. Let's see if there's anything in here. One of these days I'm going to get the field notes set. I don't have it. I'm going to get rid of this plastic. It's going to drive me crazy. I usually put it in my holder slide it in there. It's a big old page. It ain't going in there. Okay. Stamp. So we need ink. Ink, ink, ink. We need... We'll go with black. I don't know. Maybe black. I'm debating if I want. Maybe just black soot. There's a lot of blacks on there, so... I don't know if I want to use archival. Let's just use black soot. It doesn't have to be that noticeable, so... Where is black soot hiding? It is not hiding there. Okay, in my holder. I put all my inks up today because they were just sticking over my space. 
Okay. Maybe acrylic block. Uh, probably that one. I'm not sure. Two of them out there. Okay. So we're just gonna do a little bit of light distressing. Just for the bag, just because, you know, why not? just a little bit of writing. I don't want anything that's going to interfere. I don't know if writing would interfere or not. It might. Oh, I have that on backwards, don't I? It's not sticky. Mm. Oh, let's see. Not sure which way. I think I'm going to do that as the top. Hints of writing. Try to keep it somewhat light. I will do one there. All right, I think that's good. And where to go? Oh, it's right in front of you. Sure enough, stick it on paper, because that's what I always do. I put a wet rag on the table, and then I promptly stick it on my paper. All right, so we need some, just a little bit of color. How about vintage? Not vintage. Um, antique linen. Did I put that up, too? <laughs> of course you did. Yep, I did. All right, we'll just do a little bit of antique linen. Hold on. I know I should have just left it out. You know, as soon as you put it away, you need it. All right. Okay. Let me get this looking a little bit better. It can still be written on because the writing will be darker, but it at least doesn't look, you know, plain. I really want to use cardboard instead, I think. I'm just going to make a mess. I can clean that, but I'm trying not to. Yeah, that'll be just enough. I don't want to get that bump. There's a, there's a line there. Sometimes if you do your ink over a line like that, you'll end up with a bump. If I had time and I was off camera, I could always just spray these. You can do lots of things with them. I could just spray the whole back of the page before you even cut it out with some distressing. But it's not too bad to do it after. And that's going to just tone that down a little bit. I like it. That's better simple, but I think it'll work. All right. I didn't ink that very well. Let's see. Where's that? That's color. What's in here? No, you just stuck it in the wrong spot. Didn't I? 
No, that's right. That's right. This black soap. Black soap goes here. I try to keep these together so I don't start using the wrong dauber. A little bit better. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use for a pull tab. I might just stick a piece of fabric on there, fold it over or something. I think that'll work fine. Okay. There. Much better. Alright, so we need a pull tab something. There's our two sleeves. And I think, what do I got? I got this stuff. It's kind of light. Let me see what else I have. I got a whole box of it somewhere here. Let's see this one. Lace, leather string, fabric scraps and leather. I think this is all ruffles. Well, that's nice too. It's not bad. I might use that. Mm, could just do cheesecloth too. But I'm not going to do it with a hole. I'm going to just fold it over. So This one's a little darker. Not quite as dark as I would want though. That one's even darker. Let me go with that. Do I have a smaller piece? A lot of times I'll just make labels or whatever out of these little bits. I think I'm going to use that. sit on the floor where I'll trip on it. <laughs> Brilliant idea, right? Y'all still with me? Being so quiet again. Everybody's so quiet. Alright, let's see if I can tear this. I doubt if I can. It's probably too small to tear. and grungy. Okay. And I'm just gonna... I don't know if that's a little too wide. It might be a little wide. We're gonna take some of this off. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. Here. I'm gonna do it on this because I'm gonna make a mess. I'm trying to... Do y'all cut your bangs like this? That's how I cut my bangs. So that they don't look perfectly flat. I don't need that piece there. Alright, so there's one. Where's the other one? Get that one piece. Nice and grungy. I feel like it might be a fraction wide. Go a little bit smaller. I'm gonna, I'll grunge it back up. It's okay. Okay. One more. We're just going to fold these over and glue them. I think it'll work fine. 
I don't have little tag ends and I don't have a die cutter that makes them. Um, the one girl used a, you know, the, the little um, hanger attachments. She used one of those. I also, also don't have one of those, but it looks very cool. Um, who was it? Who did this? What did I say? Um, Tracy Fox. She did it. She used a little like a picture thing. I think I will use, I don't know, our glitter. Our glitter works fine. Don't have to use fabric tack. So I'm just going to glue this top and bottom. I'm going to do the backs first. Just kind of lay it with a little bit hanging over. stick to my table but that's okay Just a little bit there flatten it down this time I'll give us nice little rustic pulls I meant to use the other side but oh well I didn't you think I can <laughs> not with that one Where's my pointy tool? See if I can fray it just a little bit so it doesn't look so out of place. I meant to use the other side. Yeah, I didn't quite glue it all so I can fray it. Okay. There. Better. Alright, I'll make sure it's dry. Alright, we'll go ahead and glue these in while I'm waiting for that to dry for just a second. Put my pen back in here. I think everybody's so quiet today. Okay, um, pages. I'm like, what am I looking for? I don't know. All right, the bees I decided would be the insects. I think. Is that what I said? I think. Let me double check the bird book and see. Where do I have on this one? This is the plants, yeah. Okay. Plants go there. All right, so we're going to put the bees here. Yeah, I'm treating this like, oh, I wanted to do some of the paper. That's what it was. I'm not done. Hold on. I'm going to do something with the paper. I'm going to do that one and this one. We'll just do them at the same time. Set them like this. Yeah, this is going to take the whole time. <laughs> Maybe not quite, but close. All right, we're just going to decorate that just a little with some stuff. Same thing, maybe some writing and such. Let me see if I can put that down with something. Where's my light tack tape? It's just going to be easier just to do them both at once. There. Okay. Um, stamps. Okay, I've got writing I'm debating on which one I want these are both dictionary right yeah I could go with the newsprint so I have this Hobby Lobby newsprint it's bow bunny and it's just kind of an eclectic mixture, it's, but it's similar to that writing, so we'll, I think we'll go with that. I thought about using just the, the regular writing, but I think that will be a better option. I also have one from Timu that's similar. Hmm, I like it too. So, this is the Timu one. Maybe I'll use one on each. I'll use one on one and one the other one on the other. And then the bow bunny is a 
show you the example. The bow bunny looks like that. So they're very similar. But either's fine. I'll probably just use one on each. That way we'll use them both. This one I'll bet you is is it one piece? I'm trying to see if it's one piece. I think it's one piece. It may not be. I might have cut it. No, I didn't cut it. It's one piece. Alright. I wasn't 100 percent sure. Sometimes I cut them up. Where is my big block? Now I'm not real care. I don't really care if this covers perfectly, or I would use my um, my misty inking tool thingy. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. I just got. We'll call it a misty. I mean, that's what it is, but I don't. It's got a name. All right, we'll do this one for this one and that one for that one. And I'm just going to try to get it a little random. And so I'm going to use a lighter ink, I think, so it doesn't show up too much. We'll go with not antique. I don't think the antique will show enough. The lightest one I have out there is vintage, so we'll go with vintage. Go with vintage photo. And I'm just going to stamp it and hope for the best. <laughs> can't tell if it's even going on there. It's so light. I wonder if I should test it first. I don't have a piece of good piece of scrap. Oh wait here. I have this. I'm just gonna test it and see how dark it's looking. Oh, it's pretty dark. Alright. Darker than I expected. Alright. Okay, so how do I get this not to be perfect? I want to go on that. And I don't really want to go on that. So I'll just... I'm not going to push crazy hard. No, a little more than that. <laughs> All right, there is a lot of texture to that paper. <laughs> it worked much better on that. Too much texture, so I need something under it. This is coffee dyed, so it's bumpy. So let me grab my misty mat. I don't have a stamping mat. I know they sell them. Maybe one of these days I'll buy one, but I do have this little thing that comes with my misty, and it seems to serve the purpose. So I'm going to attempt to use that. I just, I'm not getting a, a decent impression. Sometimes you just got to get something under it to get a better impression. I'm hoping that's enough this again. Luckily it's nothing that has to line up really so well, as long as it's somewhat similar. Let's see if that works better. A little bit. It still does not like that spot right there. Oh well. We're gonna have the belly band there so we're not gonna stress about it. I'll put a little more down here. Try not to ink everything I'm not supposed to ink. Okay, that's good. Now I'll try to get some right there. So I'm just going to attempt to just get the edge of this. I think my stamp is drying out on me. Let's see. How can I do that? I don't know. I'll put this on here. I don't want to stamp back over that spot either. Okay, good. And then just a little bit there. Good. That'll work. Now we got the whole thing kind of randomly covered. Kind of, sort of. Enough that it's not plain. That will look a lot better than plain. Alright, so that's the teamer one. Let's get it back, back up. This 
is just my little chamois. It feels very wet. I don't think I wrung it out. Let me wring this one out. Oh yeah, I totally didn't wring that out. Usually by the time I get to the project, these chamois are half dry. That's better. All right, let's so put this back here. All right, you go over here. Switch to my other one. Where to go? Let's put you back too, because we're gonna lose my referencing. All right, we'll go to this one. And I can move this out of the way now. Just set it over here. Where's my pad? Oh, there it is. Just in case I need it. Give it a little something. And I'm trying not to get absolutely perfect on these impressions. It's sometimes hard to do. It's because like when you don't want it to be perfect, it's going to be perfect. And when you do want it to be, it won't be. Isn't that the way it goes? Always. It's always the way it goes. Okay. And then just a little bit here. I could have even mixed the two, honestly, but that's fine. I don't care as long as I get something on here. All right, that's enough, I think. And then I don't think I'm going to splotch it or anything. Um, I think it's fine. I could go a step further and add sprays, but then I got to wait for that to dry and it's we don't want to do that right now. Okay. Block, ink, ink. All right. Now we've got our little page. Let me get, make sure I'm still in camera. Where's my Misty? You go with my Misty. Where did I put it? No clue. It's around here somewhere. All right. Move this one here. We'll just do this one. This is the B, so this is this one. Okay, so we're going to go right there. I like that. I think it looks good. So I'm not going to glue the center because I'm going to use it as a belly band. So for this one, I'm going to glue the top and the bottom. And it's going to be a, a narrow belly band. I'm not going to have a real wide one because I want to make sure that this stays down because it will have a tag going in and out of it and all that. So I'm just going to get some there. I'm just making sure everything on it is, needs to be done. So it should be good because you don't want it to cause a problem. So just the top and bottom. I'll go like, eh, like a quarter of an inch. Should be enough. These usually hold pretty darn good. Try to get it centered. Lining up my papers. And I want it more toward the bottom. Okay, and then what did I say? The dragonfly? It doesn't really matter, honestly. Either works. We'll put the plant with the bee. Put the dragonfly with the butterfly. Okay? So you get a little tuck. We might put some more on there. Let me, I'll think about that. We'll look at our 
ephemera in a second. Let's get this one in first. Okay. Let's make sure everything is the right way. Nice and straight on the fold. Double check that that little top piece is all the way down in a second. That's going to be that, and we need just maybe a little bit of decoration on those, I think. Let's do something. Get my little pen back in here. All right, so put this over here. All right, I've got a whole bunch of pieces floating around here. What do we got? We got bugs everywhere bugs and bees and stuff. I <laughs> also have the field notes thing somewhere. I'll find it. I'll find it in a minute. Okay, what do we got? We have Botanical Timu. Maybe. That's Owl's Butterflies. Maybe. There's field notes. Which is totally missing. Where are you? I think those are too big. I don't know where my field notes is. It's missing. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got in this little one. Oh, little things there. And then we got a snippet here. Field notes. <laughs> That's not field notes. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Sorry guys. I know it's here. I've been trying to keep them all together. Uh, I have those rub-ons too floating around here somewhere. Oh, there's the rub-ons. Might need those. Oh, they might not show. Mm, probably not. They're probably not going to show. We're not going to use those ones. But I might use words. Where's my word thingy? Uh, words. Words. Okay, and then... How did I lose felt notes? Y'all know I have that whole pack. Try to go with this. It's in one of these, I think. I feel like it is. Let's see if these are too big. They might be. They might be too busy. I'm not sure how they'll sh well they'll show. These are um, washi style stickers from um, Timu. I'm not sure if they'll show up on this or not. They should. Mushrooms. An owl. What is this one? Plants. Oh, bees cute. I'm trying to look at things that will show better, maybe. Some of these are really light. Save the burnt ones for the birds. 
Oh, that butterfly one's pretty. I wonder if it would show. I think the solid mushrooms will definitely show. Because they're nice and dark. That blue might show. I don't know if this one will show. It's pretty, but I don't think it'll show. That one looks bright too. Alright, maybe one of those. <clears throat> and then we've got these. Looking which one I would want. Maybe a, a B for this one. This is the B, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I might actually put one on the inside. I could probably put the washi on the inside too, actually. Mm, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I really hate that I can't find. I don't know if there's much in these were from Halloween, but they've got good butterflies and stuff. I think that's about it though. A few butterflies, not much in there. Oh my goodness, where is my film Tim Holtz one? I don't know how I could lose it, guys. I shouldn't be able to, right? You think? No, no, no. No, it's not any of these. Where else would I? Oh, you know what I did? Oh my goodness, guys! I stuck it in the book. That is what I did. I forgot. I unloaded it into the book. Okay, that's fine. I'll pull the book out in a second. <laughs> I totally spaced doing that. All right, we need to do something with the top of this tag. Well, you could write on it. Hmm. Maybe I'll leave it. I don't want to take away a good writing space. You can write on the back too, but it would look cute on the front. All right, we'll just decorate this. All right, so that's bright, kind of bright. I just don't know how well these are going to show. Oh my gosh, they're so hard to pick up. These will show. And then I've got these. So I stuck them in my ephemera book, guys. You know, like a good girl. <laughs> Then I probably forgot. So oh, there's not as many shapes. Oh, these are the ones with the shapes. This is what I was thinking. Here, let me just pull this out so I can get rid of the book. I might. Thing so bulky. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I can look at these. These will show up better. So seems small. Gosh, I might have to go into the um, forty nine market ones. These seem really small. They're too small. That's not going to work. I need something, I think, bigger. Bigger and longer would make more sense, right? I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, what else do I have? I have... Oh, I've got so much floating around this room. All right, bigger and longer. Maybe 49 and market. Or I could steal one of, I could fussy cut one of the things from the other ones that I didn't cut out. It'd be a little bit of a difficult fussy cut though. I know I've got some dyes in 49 and Market. Let me see what's in here. Big old butterflies. I want, I'm trying to look for something long. Long and skinny. this 
over. Scooch this over. And I'm going to zoom back out just so I don't lose y'all. <laughs> it's like, no, there's too much stuff, girl. Clean off your space. I can only do one of these at a time. Oh, what time is it? It's getting late. Okay. Stay. Okay. Now, let's find something that will work. I was thinking just something, it needs to be something bigger. Bigger and bolder. Let's see how this fits. If I can get it off of here. Without breaking it. I love these 49 market ones. I might have two of this one because I, I bought a second set. Come on. Perfect. It'll cover up some of the other plants, but I don't really care. Because it's going to make a better statement. Alright. I got a whole other page. water tray. <laughs> I need a bigger desk. Uh, all right, what's on here? Okay, so that other one has... Let me grab it. I like that one because it's very similar plant to this one, which is kind of cool. It might even be the same kind of plant for all I know. This one, mm, I wonder if that grass with the butterfly would be good. It might be a good option. I have that one, but it's more sideways. Where'd it go? It's on that page I was just on. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I saw it in here. It's already cut out. could do that one there too. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling apart. There you go. Alright, so this one. I might end up putting just a little bit of gesso behind it. I got that berry there. I think this one's too wide. Yeah, that one's too wide. What about one of the mushrooms? Is one big enough? Mm, I need some taller things. I'm not sure. I think it's going to be too, too light plant might be the best option other than this grassy thing. I don't know if it's too um too fine. Let's see if I can get it out of there. I hate pulling these things out. They always freak me out. I'm like I'm gonna break them. So they're a little bit fragile. So, yeah, I think if I put gesso on there, we'll be good. We'll do that one. It's got that little butterfly, and I like the little butterfly. All right, where'd my page go? Oh, I buried it. Hold on. Oops, you go right there. We're going to put you back in the container. Put you in there. Go in there with the birdcage. Has a page, right? Oh. Oops, Fox, stay on there. I'll never get this back in there. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put you on top for now. 
Oh, if I can get you past the butterfly. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Huh. Wearing myself out. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of gesso because it's not gonna show otherwise. And that's fine, I will make it work. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of thin white gesso, which is here. It shouldn't take but just a second to dry. So I'm just gonna drop a gesso in some water off to the side and a mm, looking at the brush I want to use maybe just a stencil brush I think I'll just use a stencil brush it's a very thin bit I don't think it will go through but it might um, it should make it stick. Now this is just inkjet, so who knows what will happen, but we're going to try it. I just want to tone it just ever so slightly in the center. Oh yeah, it's definitely bleeding. We're going to tap it so it doesn't bleed as much. I just want to lighten it up just a little so that my picture will show. a little. Doesn't have to be the whole thing. Okay, that should be enough. Where'd my water go? Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. And then we're going to hit it with the blow dryer real quick. Oh, let me reach it. This is definitely going to blow away. Hold on. Move it over here. In the blow away. Once this is has it closed for a few days, it'll flatten right back out, honestly. I just want to make sure it's dry before I stick anything. blew all those little tags in. <laughs> I think I did. Okay. That's okay. Not a big deal. Okay. Butterfly one on here. That'll show up a little bit better, I think. I hope this works. <laughs> I have no idea sometimes. All right. That is really, really fine. brush it on easier honestly but that means putting it on top of something else sometimes when they're like this I'll I'll just make a puddle of the glue and dab it on there and that can be easier but right now just because of space I'm not gonna try that I'm gonna try to just get all those little bits and bobs It is on the outside, so it's not on, the, on anything. Okay. There. I think I must have missed that little tip there. All right, I think it shows enough. a lot of glue coming around the edge but that's okay it'll dry all right where's the other one I lost it where'd you go there you are I think 
I would have liked a nicer, um, really contrasty longer piece to put on here. I just, I didn't have one and you know, we're working with what we got and sometimes you have to do that. You have to just work with what you got and do the best you can. It may not be exactly your vision, but it'll still be pretty. If you're like me, you don't have the money just to go out and buy more. <laughs> the digitals aren't too bad, but the die cuts can get expensive. All right, it's probably going to some hang over. I'll trim it or something. I'm not real worried about some hanging over as long as I don't glue it to the page, which I'm about to do. So I'm going to grab me some. glue off of there. I might trim that. It's, it's got too much glue on. It's going to stick. All right. That's good. I like that. Where's my little scissors? Little teeny tiny scissors. Just going to snip that. better. And then, um, let's see. No, didn't end up working anyway. And definitely not those. I think, let's see if it word. These green ones might be nice. What do we got? We got beauty of nature. Enjoy the little things straight from the path. Nature is my medicine. Enjoy nature. Life is an adventure. All kinds of ones. I think the green will work. Where's my scissors? When I make these, I try to make them straight so that when you are cutting them out, it's not so difficult. There's nothing worse than getting a bunch of cutout things and they're not straight. <laughs> like these bugs. I'm like, if I want to cut these out, I can't just cut straight across on lines. You have to try to cut around each one. And that I don't like. I prefer people to make their digital straight. It makes life much easier. So we got to enjoy the little things. I know I've used that a couple of times. Enjoy the journey. How about enjoy nature? And maybe nature is my medicine. All right, so we got to enjoy nature. Debating on where I want to put it. Sideways. I kind of like it at an angle. I don't really want to cover the butterflies, so I think I'm going to put it down here. And this one. Let's do... Where is it? Nature is my medicine. This one. Yeah, I'm okay with them sideways like that, I think. Alright, let's do that. I am melting, guys. This took much longer than I thought it was gonna. Gosh, that's always the case, isn't it? I might have to start doing some things off camera. I'll never get this done. All right, let's glue those on there. Do I need to ink them? I could. Maybe with some black, because they're a little um, dark. I'm trying to find my ink. Where'd you put it? There it is. I see it. I 
this black oxide is more of a gray black, but it'll be all right. Or black soot, I mean, but it's a distress oxide. But it'll still at least cover that edge to make it a little more grungy looking. It's so quiet today. I wonder if I'm just not seeing the chat. I think I am. I'm off. Try to refresh. What? Girls, I have not been seeing your chat. All right. Thank you for the stars, Dawn. She said, nope, I like them both. That was okay. I went to bid on a well tail. Deborah says, I went to bid on a well tail punch on eBay and the bidding went to almost a hundred for it. Not sure what it's all. I know that's what I've heard is that they get like insane costs. I'm so sorry. I haven't been replying to your chat. It wasn't showing. Gotta love my device for whatever reason. Okay. I know these are similar, but they're not even in the same signature, so nobody's going to notice that they have two similar ones. Let's get a couple of edges on here. I feel like they're not quite down. I can get under it. No, maybe not. Eh, I'll leave it. It's fine. Now. Okay, so let's grab our tags. All right, so that is our tag in a pocket. What is it hitting? Okay. I think it glued. It shouldn't have. There was no glue there. I didn't check it before it dried. I'll get past it. There it is. Okay. It's like, what is it doing? All right. All better. So there we go. Tags with a belly band. Oh, I'll put something under there later but I'll show you what it looks like I've got something here. here this is gonna go in sooner or later this is the um the sunflower my sunflower bee painting that Don likes so I'm trying to get something white behind it so you can see it I'll put this in later but if you don't glue it to your thing the idea so it could get something like that um or just a normal journaling card or something the two journaling cards i have are too i think they're too big well, they might not be too big they might work all right they might fit there orange doesn't quite work all right there we go that works I'll do more to these. I'll round them off and maybe put some paper on the back of them. I'll just do it off camera because it's almost 11 o'clock, guys. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and round them and ink them, if nothing else. They're, they're haberdashery, so they're fairly thick. Um, it's a um, craft paper. And we did some embossing on these. If you missed that live, you can go back and catch it was on one of my stencil Sunday lives. I don't think I've inked this. Let's see if it'll even show. It's pretty distressed already, so it may not show. Okay, that's a little bit more. There we go. So do that one there. Go ahead and do this one. Mm. 
This still smells like cinnamon. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The Tim Holtz embossing dauber smells like cinnamon. And it's... I'm, I've gotten used to it. It's not a bad smell. But when you first do it, you're like, what is that smell? I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. I was like, what is making that smell? And it's the darn dauber. You can always tell. Every time I get it out, I'm like, oh, that's the one. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's get these signatures back where they go. I think we'll just call that a day. We'll do some more on Friday. At least I got two done. I'm not sure if these, if I need to outline that or something. If, I feel like it just needs something. Maybe if I outline it with a watercolor pencil. I'm going to do that, I think. This one is just kind of, we're kind of losing it. Let me see. I don't want to get water in there, so I'm just going to throw some S. This is like plastic. I'm going to try it real quick. I know I, I got a few minutes before 11. I found my pen. Graphite aqua rail. I want to see if I can. This isn't as dark as I want. Where's my other watercolor pencils? What colors do I have? I don't have. This one's black. I wonder if it, oh, that's brown. Or oh, this one. That's black. I don't know which one of these is darker. We're going to try this one and see if it's any darker. I'm thinking I'm going to put a um, just a line on the side of them if I can find my water a brush. I just want a really fine brush I can throw some water on there with, but not a lot of water. I don't want to get too wet so I have to dry it again. Um, I need my here. I got a little tray here somewhere. There's a tray. Water, water, water. It doesn't take much, just a spray. Just basically got to get the brush wet, and I don't want it super wet. And once you touch that, it'll really darken up. And I can add a slight shadow under that. That's good. I think that helps. Which one was it? Not this one. So my Kimberly's is a little bit darker. My Kimberly's watercolor pencil. Is that the right one? Yeah. Can y'all see? I'm going to pull this up. I just want you to see what I'm doing. So anytime you want to emphasize something like this, See if I can do it. The light is. I feel like the light's horrible. Can you see that? So, see how. Um, just take this side of. Do you want the shadow on? I'm going on the right. I'm just going to put little bits on the right. You take your water. I'm trying to see if I'm still on camera. The light is not like in my hand in the way. It doesn't take much. And it will dry a little lighter. But not much. I think it'll just be enough to give just a little hint on the edge of it. And then I'll play if you like it. Sometimes, I don't know, it seems maybe a lot of extra effort, but, you know, if it makes it pop out better, then it's worth it to me. Okay, I think it helps a little bit. So I'll probably go through and do that a little bit and see if it makes it look a little bit better. I just don't want to lose it on the very busy page. <laughs> it was much busier than I thought it was. 
anyway, I'm not going to put that tag back in there because that might be just a tiny bit wet. We'll wait for it to dry. Okay. So that is our project and I will be back on Friday. We'll do some more. All right, guys, you'll have a wonderful rest of your evening. I'm just going to flip my chat back and forth to see if anything else shows up. Deborah says, those are beautiful. And she says, what are those pencils called again? So I have two of them. I have this one that is Faber-Castell. And it is called, is it focused? I can't see. This one's called Graphite Aqua Aquarell. Okay, that one works. It's, that's one I use a lot. And then I have this whole set of just Kimberly's. Kimberly's watercolor pencils. Either is fine. But, you know, if you can get the whole set, sometimes worth it. You can find these in a lot of places, so. All right. And that's how I did, I also did a watercolor um, thing. I'm, I'll do it next week. But I'll, I'll show you real quick if I can find it. Lord have mercy. I'm going to show you real quick just because it has to do with that pencil. There's too much stuff on my desk, guys. One, two, three. Buried it. There it is. Okay. So that's what I colored this with. So these are the white ones that I have in that one set, and I colored them with these pencils. Okay. So the pens having watercolor pencils is handy because they, they can be useful, and it wasn't so much water that it went through or anything, just the tiniest bit of water. Okay. So that's that in a nutshell. I'll go, I'll do a whole lesson on that, but not today. Okay, guys. All right. I will see you guys on Friday. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day, evening, wherever it is where you are. <laughs> All right. Get my stool so I can turn this off.